Welcome, brothers and sisters. My name is Sandra Timko, and welcome to Lumen Christi. We are honored and privileged today to have with us, for a second visit, Father Peter Mary Ruhi, um, a Servite priest from Chicago, Illinois. Father has been serving the Lord for 59 years. He has an amazing gift of healing, and he has been um, crossing continents, preaching and teaching the uh, miraculous healing gift of love, of Jesus' love. Um, I'd like to welcome you back, Father. This is such a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, the, <laughs> as they say in French, l'honneur est tout moi. The honor is all mine. <laughs> Thank you. Sandy, thank you for inviting us. For people that missed the first segment that we shared with you, mm -hmm. we talked a little bit about some um, tremendous conversions that you've seen happen. Uh, a renowned gangster in England. We talked a little bit about um, some of the healing services and some of the phenomena that you've seen and you say that that's escalating. You're seeing more and more. Oh, yes. Very much so. And then just in these last months some uh, wonderful uh, manifestations of the Lord uh, in our Blessed Lady have been taking place in our uh, in the ministry and I shared some of them with you uh, share, it, well, share this one with us oh this is uh, uh, Danny O'Donnell he's uh, internationally famous uh, Irish singer and uh, this article tells uh, uh, about his recent biography. It just came out at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is from an Irish paper. And he has uh, his uh, uh, quote from his book. He was, he was pushing his uh, biography that just came out. My, um, my story, I think it's called. And, mm -hmm. uh, he tells how he was healed not once but two and two different occasions when he would have had to cancel six months of, uh, according to his doctor, he should take six months away from singing. And he would have had to put off six months of packed out uh, uh, venues, as they call them over there uh, in Ireland, England, America, Australia, and so on. And He's, his illness was Crohn's uh, uh, disease. Throat, oh, throat, you know, throat disease. Yes, he couldn't uh, couldn't sing, and he claims we were. Uh, he came uh, one uh, one uh, healing took place in Ireland, and uh, and then uh, I believe by phone another but um, he came to London he flew over to London to a, a, a healing mass there we had in a town hall uh, one uh, one time about from, must be five years ago now or more six seven years ago and uh, so he mentions this in his biography and, and but that's only a minor one. key. There's he, many, he's, many, many. He's uh, uh, given us commercials and or the ministry, I should say, in, in the television, press, and radio all the time. <laughs> we were speaking uh, be between taping mm. that um, Jesus went into his hometown mm. and um, there were no miracles done, or very few. Mm -hmm. The reason being, he said, was because a prophet is never recognized in his hometown. Mm -hmm. And I asked you, was that because there was no belief mm -hmm. among the people? Mm -hmm. And you said, oh, absolutely. Well, uh, yes, usually um, we have to believe. But sometimes um, the Lord even um, uh, gives us some sign uh, that's what the evangelists call it, or the translation anyway, is a sign uh, to help our belief, you know. Uh, and the last words of um, St. Mark's Gospel are after Jesus uh, uh, told them, 
uh, go out and preach the gospel just before he ascended to heaven, you know, the right hand of his father, uh, to the whole world, preach the gospel, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh, the, those who believe these signs will follow. They will speak in strange tongues. Sometimes when we pray over people and rest in the Spirit, they burst into beautiful gift of tongues. You know, and uh, they sh will cast out demons in my name. I've seen this so often. You know, and um, and the sick upon whom they lay their hands will recover. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> it was his last words. He thought about his about us sick people mm -hmm. and those who need healing. Anyway, um, uh, the, the, then Mark finishes the very last sentence of his gospel and he said the disciples went forth preaching everywhere the good news, of course, and the Lord confirming the word with the signs that follow. So these, these healings and extraordinary events are signs that he promised would follow. And there are people that do not want to believe that miracles are for today. Oh, so they're yes. missing out. And Satan can work mm. in that atmosphere, mm. can he? Well, it's obvious um, um, I would say, uh, I, I don't want to throw any uh, daggers <laughs> anywhere, but uh, there's a fear, it seems, among uh, even us priests, you know, <laughs> um, and, uh, and the hierarchy even, uh, of, of this, uh, uh, the healing ministry, I don't know. And especially of resting in the spirit, they're very <laughs> shaky about that. I have nothing to do with that. I, can't. <laughs> I, I, I know one bishop, especially he, he said, "Well, if, uh, I don't, I don't want this resting in the spirit," you know. And um, <laughs> what can I say? That's not mine to say. That's the Holy Spirit. You have to ask Him about that. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I have. I'm just a sinner. I just pray. It's the Spirit that does it all. Let's uh, let's take that a step further. Mm. Now, there's also those because they don't believe in the the movement of the Holy Spirit in those mm -hmm. in those levels for today, and miracles aren't for today. Then they certainly can't believe also in the reality of Satan. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they would have a hard time accepting or believing that exorcists mm -hmm. are essential and exorcisms are happening. Yes. And you said... Well, that's obvious. In many, many dioceses, mm -hmm. there is no exorcist appointed. Okay. You know, so that means, well, what do we need an exorcist for? So mm -hmm. tell us why we do need and what you're doing to oh, help combat the uh, situation. I think we're, we're uh, working right into Satan's hand when we deny his... Existence? Uh, his power and his his presence. Mm -hmm. he, he, that's what he wants, to be ignored. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he can work his, his, uh, his evil wonders, I guess you'd say, um, all the more. And... Uh, so um, he's certainly alive and well. And now your bishop has, has granted you a special sort of a, maybe a license or dispensation of sorts to um, pray when that need is... Oh no, it was the, li uh, it was the uh, bishop's liaison for the... Um, um, and exorcist of the diocese okay. uh, for uh, the liaison for the charismatic in um, the archdiocese of Chicago and also the uh, he was also the um, uh, named exorcist of the diocese of the archdiocese and he told me that in, uh, you know I said I I'm, uh, I only perform an exorcism when 
love do uh, man said you know mm -hmm. somebody comes in uh, in line for the blessing and uh, they give all the signs of you know <laughs> the, possession they don't rest in the spirit usually they their own voice throws them on the floor and the, and the uh, and they begin slapping their hands and uh, they put them through a terrible and then he, they give them an awful face, you know, and right out of hell, you know, the countenance is right out of hell. And uh, they spit on me and they vomit on me and they curse me and, uh, uh, and so on, just like they did Jesus, you know. What have you to do with, with us, Christ, uh, you know, and so on. That's what the demons that he, uh, that he had thrown into, uh, go into the pigs, you know. Uh, they say, they say, what have you, uh, you to do with us, you know? Uh, leave us alone and so on. <laughs> they recognize Jesus, you know. So very often, as I get near the person they start, like in the Philippines recently, we had a, a sailor came off the boat, brought by, encouraged to come to be delivered by an older sailor on the boat. He finally got him to come to the service. And as soon as I got near him, the old boy strewn down on the floor and he's just popping his hands and giving him all these signs. He just puts him through an awful time, you know. Do you, ever, does, do you ever um, have to fight fear, or do you just oh, uh, oh, take authority? I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not brilliant enough to have fear. fear? <laughs> the, as the old saying is, <laughs> the, um, <clears throat> the uh, what, what is it, uh, the, the uh, lambs walk in where... Uh, lions fear to tread, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so, I uh, I think uh, if you're going to cast a demon out, you have to use the authority of Jesus. Right. And that's, he's afraid of Jesus, right. you know. So finally, uh, when we know we know he's gone when the person is brought when, uh, uh, around to say Jesus and Jesus is Lord because uh, no one uh, uh, can say Jesus except with the power of the, the Spirit, Spirit, you know. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so when we, um, we uh, when we performing an, an exorcism, we ask, say Jesus. They cannot say everything else, you know. But uh, and, and they growl. And I remember one exorcism I had. And, uh, Wait a minute, hold that thought. Yes. I want to reintroduce you oh. because this is going to be another amazing story of God's power and presence. Uh, in case you're just tuning in, we are visiting with Father Peter Mary Ruki from. Chicago, Illinois, a man with a, a tremendous healing ministry the Lord has blessed him with. Uh, he's renowned from continent to continent. Before he even finished at five continents, yes, yes five continents, he's in the middle of sharing with us uh, a story of an exorcism. Yes, they're, they're real, they're necessary, and they are still happening. Father, continue, please. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I began to tell you that uh, uh, I only perform these exorcisms uh, when I, it, love demands it, when the person is, comes to us. And I would never set up a, a session for an exorcism because that's not my prerogative. Mm -hmm. I, I would send them to the uh, exorcists of the archdiocese. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> it's only when they come in in a healing service, you know, and, and Love demands I do something right. for that person, not leave him groveling on the ground. And you know, uh, as the old saying is, in, in, his, in his vomit. And uh, so, uh, a dog returns to his own vomit. Yeah. Yes. So uh, anyway, um, this this young man uh, uh, gave all the signs uh, that I'm speaking of. In uh, he. Um, uh, he was uh, 
cursing me and spitting on me and vomiting on me. And he was a young Australian lad, by the way. And uh, <clears throat> uh, he um, uh, finally, uh, I couldn't get the name of the demon from uh, out of him, but I said, it doesn't matter. Uh, Jesus knows who you are. And so finally, uh, he started barking like a dog. And this took place in a cemetery of all, place, of all places. <laughs> and I, at that moment, out of the corner of my eye, out of nowhere, a dog appeared, had appeared. So I said, you won't give me your name, but, and, but Jesus knows your name, so it doesn't matter. And now you've been barking like a dog. I command you to go into that dog. And the demon went into the dog. The dog became like a dead dog, and uh, he was delivered finally. And uh, the last I heard of that young man, he was studying uh, to become a priest in uh, California, in a diet in a seminary in California. This healing ministry, mm -hmm. a lot of the testimonies are chronicled in um, several publications. Uh, this book was lent to me by Marlene Schuster, as you can see on the cover. Mm. She's brought uh, Father Peter to us. Uh, the name of the book is Do You Believe That Jesus Can Heal You? This man in the wheelchair, by the way, is no longer there. He's walking all over. Free and <laughs> He clear. comes to church and witnesses. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Another book that we have here is Man of Miracles by Heather Parsons. Now these books can be um, attained through uh, the phone number, your mm. phone number. Sure. Could, could you give us that number again? Um, it's 708-740-4444. Uh, in America, for, for those outside America, the last four digits are 6279. And this last is called The Power of Miracles. Yes. Now you've seen throughout your years probably a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the miracles and the um, healings that you say are probably the most profound. And of course, many physical healings can happen after the emotional and spiritual mm -hmm. ha happen anyway. Um, have you seen... Um, uh, people that were so emotionally broken mm -hmm. um, released and then you've chronicled their wellness later their wholeness oh, yes. later they, they received that peace that this spirit brings and then their emotions are you know follow suit As once we have the, the peace when, the, when our soul is at peace as uh, so and body are married so closely, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, what affects one affects the other. So if our soul is at peace, the body very often follows suit. Everybody knows that a simple example, and the doctors tell us, my ulcers are from up here. Yes. You know, if I can get, get off my anxiety and my don't get in my way sort of attitude and you know uh, very aggressive, aggressive maybe attitude or else uh, over anxiety high blood pressure and so on and uh, they all go together that's if I can control that if, if I have received the peace then the other things usually follow suit and, the crucifix that you hold mm. has seven um, relics. Well, it has the relics of our uh, seven founders. It has the relics of St. Um, uh, Peregrine, the Cancer Saint, St. Philip Benizi, who incidentally was instrumental in uh, St. Uh, Peregrine's conversion story. <laughs> he was a gangster before, <laughs> I guess you'd call him. And um, then um, St. Juliana, whose feast is today, by the way, um, June 19th, she's considered the forerunner of the Servite Sisters. And she, uh, and so, and uh, St. Anthony Mary Pucci, who is um, 
of parish priests in Via Reggio, Italy, for f the Irish say 45 years. And uh, he was the parish priest for Maria Valtorta wrote the famous, um, uh, her famous works, the most famous is the poem of the man god. I don't know if you've ever perused that. That is a marvelous uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, scriptural uh, life of Jesus and incidentally of Mary, of course, too. And uh, um, uh, it's uh, in five volumes and it's just a marvelous work read by popes and scripture men and all. And, uh, uh, but that's for he was parish priest. I wrote his life in a new edition, the third edition is coming out with a new look and everything in just a short time. St. Anthony Mary Pucci, he followed the Italians, you know, with the name Tony. Why do we need to surrender even greater to the mother of Jesus? Oh, because he told us to. Okay. In all the revelations, uh, uh, Jesus is son. Uh, oh, how much we owe, we owe so much to, him, to my mother, you know. And, um, well, Look at the, we can't honor, look at the place God gave Mary. We can't honor more, Mary more than God has honored her, you know. Mm -hmm. He allowed her fiat, her yes, to Gabriel to make uh, the whole of our redemption uh, depend on her yes. And so many resist coming mm. to Blessed Mother, mm. or they're afraid that it will mean a form of idolatry, or that um, we're putting Mary before Jesus. Mm. And a, a balanced relationship with mm. Blessed Mother is always her son first. Oh, the Pope, uh, who is so devoted to Our Lady, uh, he has the Mignon de Montfort, St. Uh, Rignon de Montfort's um, uh, consecration, consecration mm -hmm. to Our Lady, uh, the, the main uh, uh, words on his coat of arms, uh, totus tuus, all yours, Mary, you know. Uh, anyway, he's so dedicated to Our Lady, and he uh, recently came out with a very uh, beautiful uh, line showing that, that Jesus, of course, is, is our mediator, and uh, but all of us have a sharing in that mediatorship, you know, uh, because God, well, one of the reasons is, of course, that God is pure spirit, so, and uh, he has made us so that nothing comes into our intellect except through our senses. We cannot grasp and comprehend any, anything uh, unless it comes through our sight, smell, taste, touch, touch hearing. Um, and so um, that's a, a philosophic um, principle from the, the, uh, um, the Catholic theology. And the Latin has it, nihil in intellectu quod non prius in sensu. There's nothing in our intellect that has not first come through our senses. So that's why uh, Mary, and that's why Jesus came and why he uses Mary as the mother, the second Eve, because we can see and we can, she's hear. appearing everywhere yes. also, and we can hear. And we can and, smell. And, and Yes, the and the fragrance. The fragrance yes. By the way, that's one of the phenomena surrounding our every healing mass and service. Many people 
perceive that powerful the fragrance. I want, I want real quickly because people are going to be so um, enthusiastic to find out where they can get information about these healing services that are happening all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, they can call your number and receive the calendar that has all of the events on it. So if you again would repeat that number and let's just show them this. The number where you can receive um, this International Compassion Ministry calendar of events where Father um, Peter Mary Ruki will be um, assisting in healing services. The number again is... Here's some of the venues for the end of the, right now okay. in Detroit area. In Detroit, call Larry at 734-459-3429. Call the number that we have up on the screen to reach uh, Father Peter's uh, ministry. And if you would be so kind that we would end our time together with our viewers with a wonderful blessing from yes, you. Well. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly upon you and grant you his peace. Your peace that comes, Lord, when we accept each day as your gift. That's why we call it the present. Knowing that for those who love you, everything, even evil, works unto good for those who love your name. We do not understand the mystery, Lord, but when we accept, then we have your healing and loving peace that surpasses all understanding. The blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and bring you healing and peace now and forever to the intercession of Our Lady and all the angels and saints. Be healed in the name of Jesus and be filled with his Holy Spirit. Our Lord was wont to say, Courage, thy faith hath made thee whole. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I learned that from in Italy, they kiss the hands of the ladies, you know. So. And I'd love to kiss the feet of the servant. Oh. <laughs> God bless you, Father. Oh, that's a pleasure. And as always, remember to let Christ's light shine through you.